four more days to Katsukan. Today is a cosmic crunch day. So Katsukan is coming up and everyone, and I mean everyone, is in crunch mode, otherwise known as Katsu Crunch. And I get it, it's an amazing convention. The Gala Resort is beautiful, it's amazing, it's tremendous, it's... Oh my God, I just went full Trump. It's tremendous. It's a beautiful convention. It's actually one of my favorite cons in the entire world. Tens of thousands of cosplayers from around the world will all descend into this one amazing venue and they're all bringing their A-game. Chances are you're working right now to pull off some sort of spectacular cosplay. Because chances are, you're like me. You're in Cosplay Crunch. Now it may seem like you're in some kind of hell right now, but I've got six tips for you to beat that Katsu Crunch. Tip number one, be organized. Make a list of all the things that you need to do. Separate them between needs and wants. I need this. 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 If you absolutely need something to make your costume feel a lot more complete, focus on that first. And when you complete all of the things in your needs column, then move on to the wants column. Crossing off something on a list is such a motivational action that you go on to the next item feeling pretty good about yourself. Tip number two, stick with what you know. Use those proven skill sets that have taken you this far already. If you know how to work with foam, stick with foam. If you're a beast with warbler, stick with warbler. If sewing fabrics is your happy place, then why would you want to leave your happy place? This is not the time to experiment with new techniques. Sure, miracles can happen, you can kind of figure it out in time, but chances are something will come up that you just weren't ready for. Experience in cosplay isn't just the knowledge of working with the material, it's also knowing what to do if things go wrong. Tip number three, keep your energy up. Eat, drink, rest. This may be crunch time, but you need to think of it as a marathon, not a sprint. I mean, sure, it's a fast marathon, but you do not want to show up at the con feeling drained. Remember, you've got several days left. It may not seem like much, but you can do a lot in a couple of days. The last thing you want to do is to pass out on your heat gun because you didn't take the time to eat a sandwich. And trust me, you've got enough heat gun burns already. Heat gun, heat gun, That's heat gun. Too, like all over, oh, like yeah. there and there. And like, <laughs> they're, uh, they're everywhere. So I can't. Many. <laughs> Tip number four, focus. Get rid of distractions. If you're the type of person that can craft with Netflix in the background, great. But if not, turn it off. Do whatever it takes to get your mind to focus on the task at hand. And by the way, this is different for everyone. Some people prefer to listen to music. Some people prefer TV shows or movies in the background. And some people prefer total silence. Just focus. Tip number five, be social. Invite other cosplayers to help you out. Invite people who've never cosplayed ever to help you out. Invite people who've never even held a scissor to help you out. Even if their skill set is limited to just cutting a straight line, that is time that you can focus doing something else. And by the way, people around you can actually help you to motivate to work better, more efficiently, faster. Surround yourself with good people because chances are you'll pump out some pretty good work too. And as all of you probably know, working alone can lead to some strange things. Tip number six, 
It's cosplay. Remember, play is in the name. Remember, remember, remember to have fun. If what you're doing is stressing you out, stop, breathe, and then reevaluate. You have been blessed to take time and resources to make something that you love. Not many people have the means or the environment to do what we do. So please consider yourself lucky. Yes, a great costume at a beautiful convention like Katsukan can lead to the coveted Instagram likes. Oh yeah, follow me on Instagram, I'm Jerezy Cosplayza, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Comment down below, like this video, smash that subscription button, and click on the bell notification. And sure, for some people, going viral can lead to financial success. But if fame and fortune are your only motivational factors to get into cosplay, I guarantee you, you're going to burn out. So think of this instead. Save that cosplay for another con, because there is always another con. Have a plan B. Suit up with another costume. Chances are you've got a lot in your closet anyway. Or better yet, don't even go in costume. Be that awesome friend that's just there to help out your other awesome cosplayer friends. And actually the upside to that is, at the end of the con, chances are you won't be in pain like the rest of us. So I hope this video has helped you out in some way. Like I've said, I've gone to KatsuCon for six straight years, and the dreaded Katsu Crunch is real. But it doesn't have to be painful. If there are any tips that help you out, please comment below. I'd love to hear about them. And I'd love to hear how you guys get through crunch mode. So happy cosplaying, and hope to see you at the next con.